when I told people I was going to Harvard, some people were just like, are you sure about that? We both have a long shared tradition of telling those people where to go. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Walker, who's earning an advanced degree in astrochemistry, shares a thank you note with her hero, Lucianne Wachowicz, the astronomer who inspired her to face anything. Hi. <laughs> Dear Lucianne, at the start of my studies in astrochemistry, I watched your viral TED talk, Let's Not Use Mars as a Backup Planet, over and over. Little did I know, Lucienne Wachowicz, badass astronomer, stellar magnetic activity genius, and one-time NASA chair in astrobiology at the Library of Congress, will play an important role in my career. A few years ago, I went to an event celebrating hidden figures at Adler Planetarium wearing my favorite sweatshirt, which says, Black Astronomers Matter. I heard her voice saying, I like your sweatshirt. I turned around and there you were, and we've been friends ever since. I'm a black woman in an emerging field of astrochemistry. Most scientists, particularly women in a specialized field like mine, don't have someone to turn to for guidance and encouragement, but you're always there to push me forward. I'll never forget when someone that I respected told me maybe that astrochemistry wasn't the right field for me, that maybe my talents were better suited elsewhere. I was devastated. Without batting an eye, you immediately responded, I beg to differ. Not only are you talented, you're needed. Astrochemists are rare, and it's even rare to see a black woman in that field. You need to be that woman. I will forever be grateful for you making me feel like I could walk into the office of every scientist who ever doubted me and to prove them how wrong they were. Thank you for being my sister, my friend, and my mentor. Thank you. That was amazing, I don't know what to say. <laughs> How are you crying more than me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, really though, I think we both run up against a lot of people that maybe didn't believe in us because of our identity that we weren't able to be scientists or be who we are. When I was younger, I was introduced to a former colleague of my dad's who was a father figure in science. And he said, well, why would you want to go to somewhere hard like MIT? Girl like you should have fun, fun, fun in college was his exact words. It's not that I hadn't been discouraged before. It was that I was having this conversation because someone thought that they would be like encouraging to me and instead, I got this garbage sandwich of course. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly there's been a lot of bias against women in science, but then, you know, the gains for women, you know, as we both know, have been mostly for white women. And that's just wrong. Seeing your advocacy for black and brown students is the most amazing thing. And it makes me feel better because it makes me feel like I have someone that will have my back. Honestly, you are one of the most dedicated scientists <laughs> that I have ever met in my life. I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> the world needs more Ashley Walker. Thank you for being there for me. <laughs> <laughs>